ANC decided that they are going to release a media statement on local like, media statement about e uh, media media local like, it says for immediate release it was released on the foot like, on the 4th of July 2024 it says uh, ANC statement on clarification of ANC led government of national unity policy and platform well you know why they have to clarify this it is simply because they found themselves at a very unfavorable position, especially when he, when he, he, look, ANC in Gauteng took a very um, unfamiliar and unprecedented decision when they decided to... Wah, he, <laughs> the one and only, um, the party that thinks that uh, without them, there's no country. Without them, there's no South Africa. That only party. You know what I'm saying? The one with this car. <laughs> so a lot of questions were posed. You'll remember that there was a member of ETA in, like, uh, invited by E! Newsroom Africa where this person said that if he, if this person, if uh, this person, uh, doesn't give them what they want, Ramaphosa is going to... You know what I'm saying? Go Panyazali Sufi. Because Panyazali Sufi must work with ETA. So it created a lot of problems because also the interpretation of ETA yeah, look, uh, about the, the, the government of national unity is that in, in even halting everything. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They were going to receive halting. They were going to work together in halting and everything. But the very same TA betrayed the ANC somewhere else. Right. Despite the fact that they are a member, of, they are governing together in the government of national confusion. So ANC then were forced to give an explanation. So did they? But before we dive, we dive into the explanation given by ANC, well, 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 why wouldn't you do this? If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean come on, to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed all right let's read the statement then the statement say the african national congress anc has noted a growing narrative of uncertain uncertainty in public discourse about the policy uh, and the, uh, the policy platform of the, a of the ANC-led government of national unity. We have also received series of media inquiries about the same matter. This seems to be triggered by pronouncement made by individual political parties within and outside the GNU, as well as unfamiliarity with the agreed principle of the GNU. Well who said within and without the GNU, we know who's within, who makes certain utterances. It is your very big friend. The ones, the ones you know what I'm saying, with the color, this one. <laughs> I'm not going to name their names. <laughs> the ANC wants to categorically state that this is, certain, this is certainly about policy platforms of the ANC-led GNU. This was agreed to by all local political parties who signed the GNU statement of intent, SOI. There is no agreement that exists of sealed mandate where each ministers, each minister in the GAU pursue a, a, look, a subsidiary party policies. Such an agreement will run 
counter to both the letter and the spirit of the constitution, which all GNU party signatories have agreed to act on the basis of. Okay. I'll continue. So in other words, the who is the minister of minister of education, basic education, will not implement the policies of the DA, but will implement the constitution. The question is, we all know, for instance, we know that each political party has got its policy. So we also know that the constitution is there to guide. So what if the policy is good, but it's from the DA, and the minister is from the DA? Um, you know what I'm saying? Because we're not saying that everything that comes from DA is bad. We are saying the motive is bad. But they may do some things that are good. So what does it mean then if DA has a certain policy that from the ANC, probably it's not their policy, but it's a good policy then. What does it mean? I'm just surprised. This is, I told you, this is a government of national confusion, but let me proceed. Accordingly, we, we applaud all South Africans and especially news commentators to familiarize themselves with the uh, look, uh, subsetive element of the GNU. One, clause eight of the GNU uh, look, uh, SOI outlines the fundamental principle of the GNU policy program uh, look, uh, and look in sense that ensuring it's on transformative constitutionalism. Two, clause 11 outlines this, look, uh, the substantive policy, policy programs that constitute the basis po po basic policy framework of the GNU building on clause 8. Three, Clause 19 deals with uh, instance where substantive disagreement over policy arise. Subclause 19.3 explains the, the majority that must be uh, conversed by a party wishing to repel, change, or introduce a policy. That's three. Okay, okay. Give me time. Give me time. Give me time. But the news commentators, by the way, they need to. So we are news commentators too. So we need to familiarize ourselves with this. <laughs> Taken into proper context, especially clause 19.3, it must be understood that all existing government policies remain effective without exception. Any other interpretation of this clause cannot be taken seriously at this point. It is our commitment as the ANC participant, particip look, wait, it is our commitment as the ANC to, to participate and sustain rational, honest, educational public discourse. It is for this reason that we, speak, we, look, we seek to clarify unnecessary false information about the, the, look, the constitute of the policy program of the GNU. End of the letter. Um, I don't know if after reading this, I've changed my perception about the GNU. I don't know. I am honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you'll tell me. You'll tell me in the comment section below. What do you think about that? I, I honestly don't know what to feel about it. But I can only say, I hope it gives clarity to those who were seeking clarity. I hope it makes sense. I hope, I hope it explains some things that needed explanation. I just hope, you know, it's me with a lot of hopes. But I just hope that it gives everything that it needs to give. Well, let me end it here. You and I will see each other in the next one. But until such a time, please take care.